Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I got another cool quick tip for you. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create thumbnails for YouTube for free. And not only that, I'm going to show you how you can choose, pardon me, from a library of hundreds, possibly even a thousand plus thumbnails. It's absolutely crazy. And unlike Canva, this has no cost to it and it has equal quality or at least very close. And here's just one example. Here's another example of one that I've just pulled out here, guys. And this is just this is just the start. I can just click click here, add as a new page, and bang, here's another example, Italy. Like these are all already made. And not only that, if you look on the left side here, you can change your designs, you can change the themes, the colors, upload your own images, change the fonts, everything you can imagine. And right now, it's free. Let's get into it. All right, if you're following along with me, just head over to CapCut.com. Link, of course, is in the description below. You get two options, sign in or sign up. I already have an account, but signing up is free. So I'm just going to click on sign in. And you'll see here as I sign in that I could have signed in with TikTok, Facebook, their CapCut mobile app, which is actually quite good if you're a TikToker or whatever, or even with just your own email kind of thing. Here we go, I've logged in. We've got a whole bunch of options staring at us. What I wanna show you in this one here is this image functionality. But I want you to know that they have some very good video editing features in here too. In fact, it's probably one of the best free video editors out there. And I'm not getting paid to say that, I'm being straight up here. So there you go, I'm gonna click on image. This is brand new stuff. And now let's get cooking. You'll see here, we've got a whole bunch of different options. But the one we're looking for is YouTube thumbnail. While I click on that dope, keep in mind that there was Instagram posts, TikTok stuff in there. All of those different things are there too that you can explore. Now, once we're logged in and we've got something like this here, I'm just gonna resize it a bit. You'll see here under templates, this is where the magic happens. All of these templates, and there are hundreds of them, are free to use right now. If you go onto another a uh, site like Canva, they've got some free stuff, they've got some pro stuff that they want you to pay for. As of May 6, 2024, this is all free. That could change it anytime, but there you go. So here we go, I'm just gonna pick one at kinda random. So I don't know, I kinda like the look of this one here, $300 steak. Okay, except this guy's got a stupid face. I hate those stupid faces that everybody makes, like they're surprised, they're shocked. So I'm gonna delete that. So there we go, let's get cracking. So I'm gonna click on his picture, when you do that, filters automatically opens up. I'm gonna close it. I am literally going to delete his face. Okay, good, so we've got $300 steak, but we got that guy missing. Okay, let's go down a little further and let's start making some changes. When I click on design, you'll see here that I can go ahead and change the color scheme. So if I want different color text or if I want different color backgrounds, they're all here and they're easy to implement. For example, I just clicked on that one there and it gave me sort of like a Italian style, but the green doesn't really work for me, so I'm gonna click out of it. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is. That's not where the magic happens though. Let's click on upload. You remember that guy with the funny face? Well, we're gonna get rid of him and we're gonna put someone else in here. Someone a lot better. Let's go with George. Bro, give me that raise. I don't know, okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> but look at that, we've got George. Now he's getting the $300 steak, right? Because he's a baller, he rolls like that. You see how that worked? I just added him in, I just clicked on upload. I clicked on his picture and he's in the shot, just like that. It isn't quite perfect. I would probably go ahead and add some stuff in maybe over here, but I just wanna show you the technique. So we've replaced him, put George in. When I click on George's face, you'll see here I've got options. If I wanna add some filters to his face, maybe I wanna make him into a basic white girl. I don't know how that works. I'll just click on a filter or maybe I'll add an effect. For example, fisheye. If I want to see how big I can make his forehead, I'll click on fisheye. But that just looks a little weird. So I'm going to go ahead and click on none. But they're here blurring different types of material, different halftone effects. It appears all of that stuff is ready to go and you can get to work on that. Also, they've got some AI type stuff here. If you have a background, they can remove it. You can make different changes to it. So if the picture, you know, just doesn't quite have enough warmth to it and you need to relight it or you need to color correct it, you can go ahead and do so as you see fit. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it something like that for now. Now, let's go back to the left side here. You're gonna see here now under text, this is also really, really good. So this $300 steak, that looks pretty cool, don't get me wrong, but that isn't really the style I would like. I'm gonna go through here 
and I can add in my own stuff. But look at this. I really like this one here. This one here gives me like a Quentin Tarantino type style. So I'm going to go ahead and remove $300 steak by hitting delete. And then I'm just going to click on this and go $300 oops, steak. Something like that. And then I'll close that up and I would move that up here. And presto, I've gone ahead and added in my own custom styled text just based on some of their stuff that they've got here. This is very similar to Canva. So if you've used Canva, you know exactly what's going on here. It's one click and it is applied. They've got other things I can show you here. You wanna add some shapes in, you wanna add in some photos. They've got a whole bunch of their own images. So if you don't have a good image or if you like create faceless videos and you just wanna have like, you know, something else in the background, you can go ahead and do that. You can also search for other things and so on. They've got stickers, they've got frames. So if you wanted to have like, you know, a tombstone instead, I would click on this tombstone here. I would make it nice and big like that and I would put it over on the right side and then I would click on, maybe I'll add George's face to the tombstone. Okay, maybe that doesn't work. But literally you can go ahead and do all of these different things here. Guys, this is an amazing option. If you're looking to create professional thumbnails and you don't want to go through, you don't have a copy of Photoshop, you don't want to pay for Canva Pro or Adobe and all of their expensive stuff, this is an option for you. And try out their video editor. It's free too. It's worth a look, guys. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Try it out. Let me know what you think in the description below. Thanks for watching.